picked up. We're going to start slow for now. We are here to have fun, dancing as a way to improve balance. Uh, Ballroom Basics for Balance is a class we've been teaching since 2014. Indoors until last year, we did some virtual classes all year long, which ended up being way more successful than we had thought they would be. And last summer, we did a couple of here and there dancing out in parks to see if people would join us and get outside safely, and they did. We taught through masks, which tested our stamina. This year, we get to come back and keep the ball rolling, keep people moving until the fall comes. And we think we'll have a combination of things, virtual, outdoor, as you can see from my t-shirt, <laughs> this is why we're here. The keys to better balance are things that are present in many activities that are naturally improve your balance. So for example, dancing naturally has all of these elements. Lower leg strengthening, moving in a variety of directions, um, challenging both our brain and our body, which we call dual tasking not multitasking, dual tasking. Multitasking bad, dual tasking good. We um, also challenge what we call static balance, which is balance when you're still, like maybe being on one leg for a moment, or dynamic balance, which is moving balance, which with dance is kind of an obvious thing. So dance has it all naturally in it. Also it's fun and there is a little bit of indication that doing things that are fun are more successful. Well, we advertise this class to anybody who wants to come. Anybody who feels like they could improve their balance a little bit, they want to see what their balance is like, and maybe people who've had a fall and want to prevent another fall. Um, we're all gonna lose our balance at some point, and we do, and everybody of many ages does fall. However, um, we do end up um, seeing mostly people who are older adults, retirement age folks, and a little bit older. So this is who generally benefits because these are the folks who are finding themselves a little bit at a loss and needing a little bit more to bump up their balance and feel safe and confident when they're moving. If you're just losing your balance, um, especially when you're doing everyday activities, um, if you're feeling a little off, um, those are generally the signs. If a lot of people will notice, hey, Getting up out of this chair never used to be a challenge or I'm a little nervous doing an activity. One of the things we do in this class is we survey people before and after about their comfort doing certain everyday tasks to see if it improves after the class. So are you comfortable reaching up high? Are you comfortable going up on your toes or reaching over or turning around or just walking in your everyday spaces? Or are you a little nervous? Those are some of the beginning signs that maybe your body is giving you the sign that, hey, I'm not feeling very safe and I could use a little bit of change. I am a physical therapist and I was working with a gentleman in a nursing facility with uh, a gate belt around his middle and we were walking back and forth and practicing and he was bored and I was bored and he just couldn't wait to get out of there. And I wasn't really having any fun. And I thought, we are dancing right now. We should just put on some music and this would be way better for both of us. So that's the short story of how it started. Um, I also remember what it was like to be a student, um, sitting in class, reading about doing things, just dying to get out there to try it. So I invited a bunch of physical therapy and occupational therapy, occupational therapy assistant, and other students to join us. And since the very beginning, they've been a big part of our class. And they get to learn, and we have an intergenerational experience at the same time. It's in our mission statement, fun. It's actually there because it, it really works better when people are doing something that it's interesting to them and not just sort of repeating an exercise over and over. That's not really a natural thing to do. This class today um, is sponsored by the Madison Senior Center and we have various sponsors around Madison and Dane County. We have uh, <laughs> classes that happen in different parts of the state. 
We've had a lot of great feedback. Um, the relationships, the fun, the intergenerational connections with the students and the participants, learning from one another, um, and also just the getting out of your house. A lot of people are feeling stuck and isolated now especially. Um, and in the past, people have said it's, it gave them a reason to get up and get moving. We measure balance so we can see if people are getting better at balance. One thing that is interesting that people do get out of it, um, we measure cognitive health and people's fear and confidence in activities. So it seems that there is an improvement, at least anecdotally, that people get more confident. They become more aware. That's another thing we hear over and over about how they move and the things that keep them safe. They get relationships with the students, they get relationships with one another. Many have taken the class um, several times and know each other now. Um, so, and they get out of the house, um, a, a break from isolation. And so that's why we're really excited to be back in person for the first time today. What we need more than anything else right now is more people to teach this class. We do teach you how. We support you all along the way. We even help you start a class if that's something you need help with. So please, if you know anybody who you think would be interested or you yourself are interested, we have a training coming up this fall. Um, and it's a great training, we have to say. So come join us. More people want to do this class. You can do it in your neighborhood where you live. And we'd love for you to join us.